everybody, and welcome to another episode of Michaela Loves Gymnastics. And welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of. In this part of the world, the two world championships that we have, Charlize, well, the two full world champions that we've had, Charlize Jones has been the two-time United States team world champion. In 2022, she was the all-around silver medalist and the uneven bar silver medalist. In 2023, she was the all-around bronze medalist and uneven bars bronze medalist. Charlize Jones won hella national titles, especially on the bars. She came in second place a bunch of times at national championships in this quad. She was really overlooked last quad. She was basically doing the same routine she was doing here. So there was no reason why Charlize wasn't more of a factor in last quad than what she was. Racism. So let's take a look at some of the highlights of Charlize Jones. Um, um, events and then at the end I'm going to tell you guys my opinion of how I see Charlize Jones placement on this team This is great if she can put it all together. Go to handstand. Watch her fly here. Down to the low. Gorgeous. All three difficult skills, but combined together makes it even more challenging. No room for error. A little short on that handstand. Just the dismount. Double front.
I feel like Charlize Jones has a, a wonderful chance of making this team. Do I feel like she's a lot? Absolutely not. I don't feel like no girls on this team is a lot other than Simone Biles. I feel like she is the second best chance of anybody who is a lot. Unless Gabrielle Douglas and or it could be and or it could be or turning up. I don't think they're going to let Mama do the all around. I think she's going to be reserved as our bars and bean specialist. Shocker. I think if, if either Gabby or Simone, not Simone, if either Gabby or Sunisa isn't where they're at, she will be doing the all around, but I still think they're going to push either Gabby or Simone, whoever, I mean, Suni, whoever it is, over her to go to the all-around at the actual Olympic Games. That's how I feel, but we don't know what where Gabby or Suni got going on. Neither one of them could actually make the team, and this could be a non-motherfucking factor. factor. Um, I feel like if it's Suni, then Charlize would do the all-around. But I feel like if it's Gabby... I just believe in my homegirl, Gabrielle Douglas, that much that I think she got something for y'all asses. Now, do I think Sunni Salee got something for y'all asses? Absolutely. It's just fall and floor. I just don't see where Sunni can keep up with Charlie's. If it was just the bars and beam off, though, absolutely. I think it's going to be Gabby, Simone, Gabby, Charlie's in that order for the all around qualification. I think Charlize doesn't make bars final. 
forgive me. I think Gabby and Sumi outbars her. I don't think she made Bean final either. I think that goes to Simone and Sumi. But I do think she can make floor finals. I do think she can make floor finals. I do think she can battle on floor. If they even allow her to do floor. But with this team, I'm saying it's going to be Simone, Gabby, then Charlize, that's the all around us. Suni to do bars and Bean. Jay Carey to do vault and floor with Scott Blakely and Jordan Childs as the alternate. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to this episode. I see you guys in the next episode. Fuck you too, bitch. But while y'all here, like, share, and subscribe to my shit. Please leave a comment. Let YouTube know that this channel is not dead and um, y'all still are interested in the content. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. And welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of...